daydreaming. So this is an important exercise. I know some of us as kids, we got in trouble um, at school and at home for daydreaming, but actually daydreaming is really a great exercise to do to set aside five, 10 minutes every day, whether it is to just sit there and imagine, look out the window and imagine something that you want to create in your life, something that a dream, you want to go to Paris, you want to buy a home, you want to meet your um, uh, significant other, whatever it is, to just let your imagine roam, okay? It's really important and it actually neurologically is it creates new neural pathways, right? You're seeing a different future. And as you lay these new neural pathways, you start to see solutions. You start to see a way to get there. So there's several ways you can do this. The first thing to note is that it's really handy if you, one, do it at the same time every day. So maybe it's for you, like for me, I do this, I go to the bathroom in the morning, I get my coffee, and then I come back to bed and I do um, what I call my morning ritual. And part of my morning ritual is what I call future casting, which is exactly that. Taking out my journal and for five, 10 minutes, writing down something that I want to create, something that, and, and you're looking at it, the best way to do this for me, one, set a timer, start with five minutes, okay? Two is to actually write the date as if it's in the future. You can do a year, a uh, year in the future, so you'd write today's date and a year from now. Um, you could do five years from now, you could do 10 years from now, don't get too far ahead. I would do either one year, three year, or five years. You could do six months, it depends upon what the thing it is. And if you do not know what you wanna create, just start writing. The other way that you can do this is you can do a video. You can create your own video on your phone, okay? And then what you do with the video and piece of paper is up to you. You can delete that, the video, you can throw away the piece of paper or you can leave it in your journal. The point is not for you to actually create that reality, it's for you to start to get to know what's inside of you. Like what are those dreams that you forgot about? What are some desires that you didn't even know you had? Another thing to point out, which has nothing to do with this, but well, it has to do with figuring out what you desire, but not in this way, is to notice when you're like, ooh, I want that. Sometimes it comes up as envy. Sometimes it comes up as jealousy. Sometimes it just comes up as awareness, as in like, ooh, those are really cute shoes. I would love a pair. Or, hmm, wow, that is so cool that she just had a $5,000 sale in her business. I would like that. Okay, so start noticing those and you might wanna keep a list of those things or you might wanna take one of those things and journal for five minutes on it, okay? Again, the format that you do it in, whether it's written or, written is the best because it does, there's something with the hand and the brain and the whole writing it down that's really powerful. You can type it, you can create a video, you can, you can whatever format gets you to do it and doing it every single day. You can also do it at the end of the day. I personally feel like doing it in the morning sets the tone. It gives you something to be excited about. And then sometimes there's been times that I've done this where like there's just something in there that I'll say like, ooh, you know, I would love to have this. And then all of a sudden it comes up on my newsfeed or I get an ad for it or an email for it or a friend's like, hey, I have this thing and do you want it? And that thing actually manifests during my day. So it's really powerful when you do it first thing in the morning. You don't have to do more than five minutes, okay? But if you're really into it, keep going. I honestly would, would I give myself an hour, but there's other things that I do. And when I journal, I just, if my timer goes off, I just keep going. I let myself finish that train of thought. Okay, so I'll, I'll wrap up in another minute or two or whatever, right? So don't feel like, oop, ding, five minutes and you, you have to stop. I mean, definitely give you yourself a little bit of time on, on the back end of that exercise to finish up that train of thought and to, you know, move on with your day. All right, have fun daydreaming.